Hello, I'm back again with another episode of the Dynamo Tupperlissi save and the, the Georgia national team. Um, where you left us off last, we basically um, we got knocked out of the Europa Conference, but I'm not too bothered about it because it's my first season with Dynamo, so I want to just try and concentrate and try and get win the league or at least get close to winning the league. And then what we want to try and do is is become a Dominic, a Dominic, a domestic dominance basically and then concentrate on European after that um, so yeah so we're currently we're currently um, third we've got 52 points and Torpedo who the team we just beat in the last game um, they were two points ahead of us we're nine points behind top of the league Sam Durali so we have a, I think there's like about eight there's about hold on let me check uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine there's only there's only nine games left so I highly doubt we're going to end up winning the league, but if we get second place, that is at least the minimum that we need to do because we need to be like title challenging. So if we get close to the title this season and then next season we win it, great. So yeah, so in this episode, you'll you'll see us play Austria with the Georgia national team. Um, Cavadon is in the squad. Luckily, I've remembered to add him in the last episode, so he'll be starting. And uh, and then we'll just carry on and see how we get on in the league and see if we can get second place from Torpedo, really. Um, we have got a domestic cup game in Georgia as well. So we'll try and at least win the, the cup. That'll be one of the priorities this season, to win a trophy. And the only trophy we can win, realistically, is the cup. So we'll see how we get on. But anyway, we'll be back in a minute with the first game of the episode. <laughs> Right, so like a Wally, um, basically I've 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 played this game and I've put one or two of the other games, and then realised that the whole time I was talking, you couldn't see what was going on because I still had my face as the full screen. So I've reloaded the game. Not that it matters anyway, because um, like I said, it was I didn't reload. I actually won all three games, so it was not like I reloaded because we lost. Um, basically, so we'll just. Well, the three games with Dynamo, I didn't get a chance to play the Georgia game. But anyway, so I'm reloaded the game, and we're just going to play these games again. And I'm, I'm hopefully just going to not sound like I feel like I'm repeating myself because I've already commented on this game and the other game. So anyway, let's just see how we get on. I've rotated the team for rotation. There's a few reserves or youth players that are playing this game. Not too bothered about the cup. Obviously, it'd be nice to win it. But I'm not that bothered. Never been bothered about domestic cups. But we should beat them anyway. So uh, I, I basically played my youth prospects in the, the when I played this game earlier. Um, oh, pardon me. And uh, we won three 0 with our youth prospect. So we should be able to beat these easily with our reserves. But we are in the white with the blue shorts. They are in the blue. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. But luckily, at least. At least I realised before I finished the episode, because um, I usually save the game after every episode, so I would have probably released the video not realising that the whole time all you're seeing is me on me, me on the screen talking and not actually watching the game. So uh, it is what it is. I've wasted half an hour of my life. I can't get that half an hour back, but it, it, at the end of the day, it, it, it's fine. Sometimes life throws obstacles in your way. Anyway, nil nil at the moment. Thirty five minutes played so far. Um, beautiful cross header in. Oh no, maybe not. Aruna with the ball. Nice pass. Oof, thought that should have been one nil then. Chukarov is playing on the left. He's not. He's not a left winger, so he's probably not going to play that well in that position. I might put him in a more central position in the second half. Yeah, still nil nil. We have been very dominant. Ten shots, five on target. They've had zero shots so far. Baratella is knackered, so he has to come off as well. What I'm going to do is put Gordy on. And then what I'm going to do here is change it up a bit. So Gordy's a striker, so we'll put him here. Put him here. And what we'll do is them to there like so it will make us very central in fact let's have a look at the instructions we need to be more playing through there playing through there 
shoot on sight. Uh, we don't want narrow. We want no. We don't want wide. We want narrow. In transition. Playmaker distribute target. No, that one. Uh, actually, that one. Right. Let's see how we get on with these new changes. No, my look, I've probably completely buggered it up and we'll lose. Still nil nil. I feel like we will score eventually. Right, corner. Floats it up. Head it out. Headed it back. Come on. Get the rebound. Oh, we've got a penalty. I'll take that all day long. Who's taking it? Gordy. Oh, Gordy, what are you doing to me? Ah. Uh. Oh, watch. You watch. They'll score from here now. No? Good tackle. Don't bring it over there. Play it. That's it. Play it out. There we go. Chuck a rod. Gordy. Oh, Gordy's playing bad now. He's confidence has been knocked. Chuck her off. This highlight doesn't seem to want to end. Oh, I thought that was in there. We've got a corner. This highlight continues. Floats it off. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands. That's the end of that highlight. Alright, we've had 20 shots, 10 on target, 3.27 XG, and yet we're still drawing 0 0. What have we got to do to get a goal here? That's not going to help. I think this might end 0 0, by the looks of it. Probably going to end up being nil nil. We'll have to play a replay. Got another injury. Oh, can't even replace him. So we're down to 10 men. Last couple of minutes. Not as going to oh, as I say, not as going to make any difference. But here we go. I, I've got a feeling they're going to score from this. It'd be an absolute disaster if we get knocked out for the cup against these. Oof, good save by a goalie, I think. There will be, oh, it's extra time, okay. So, we're down 10 men in extra time. At least we ain't going to play a replay, at least it's that. A bit adventurous. I think I need to get rid of the shoot on sight. Get early crosses. Get rid of that. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh, it doesn't matter, sod it. I'll leave it. There you go. Goal. Get in. Well done, Gordy. Redeems himself after that penalty miss. 1 0. Headed out nicely. Right, I just want to end this game now. Oh, I've got a feeling they're going to equalise because we're down to 10 men and we've still got another 15 minutes to go. Even though the player hasn't been sent off, it still acts like we've got a disadvantage. So we'll see. If we get another goal, I can relax a bit. We might get a goal here. Passing around nicely. Haruna, beautiful. Oh, trickled in. Oh, it's an own goal. Okay, fair enough. I'll take it though. 2 0. Oh, good, good, good. Right, let's just get this game done now. Goal kick. Oh, there we go. Oh, pop up by the defender there. I nearly punished him. Haruna with the ball.
Oh, what a goal. That was a great goal by Gordy. Definitely a special goal, as the commentator said. Yeah, good result. Same result, just done in a different way than when I, when I did it a minute ago. We are playing Sam, uh, Sam Gorelli, top league in the next round. Right, so we've got Austria versus Georgia Litchi coming up now. Um, Cavadonna is in the team. I've managed to remember to pick him for the squad. So, at least there's that. Now, when I did this game last, um, I know I didn't do it again, what am I about? The, uh, it was the other game. I was uh, uh, somewhere in my head. I had a brain fart. I thought I was playing another Dynamo game. Bloody hell, we're doing well in here. We're three shots, three, three on target already. Four shots. Austria yet to. Oh, they've just had their first shot. I've got a feeling Austria will be too good for us, though. I think they're just pouring with us at the moment. Or they're just starting the game slow. We've had no highlights in the game so far, though. I don't mind. I'll take a nil-nil against Austria. They are um, coming to the game strong now, though. Why can't it just let me do shouts when I want? I don't understand that. I don't keep going on about it. It drives me mad. Cavadon is having to come off. I'm glad they're getting rid of shouts on FM25. It's it's, it's pointless because you can never do them when you want to do them. And do they make much difference? I don't know. I don't think they do. Sometimes they do, but I'd say most of the time I think it's just luck. I think if you're gonna if you're losing one nil and you're gonna get a goal back shouting at the players, it's not necessarily gonna do much, especially with modern players these days. If you shout at somebody, they just down their tools, don't they? They have like a proper little strop. Um He's our only option that we can pick up. Right, still nil nil. Like I said, I would happily take nil nil against Austria, especially away as well. There's literally been no highlights. This is a really weird game. I don't think we've had a. I think we had one highlight that whole game, if not maybe two at the most. I don't think we even had one actually. That was a really rubbish game for you lot to watch. I do apologise. Right then, what I'll do is um, I'm going to holiday the friendly against Latvia and we'll come back to the next home game for Dynamo. 15th tonight. And I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. Um, so we played the friendly against Latvia, we won 4 1. So we'll just watch the goals now. Let's have a look who scored. Cavadonna scored. No, but he did set up one of the goals. He's got a seven point one rating, so at least there's that. So yeah, let's watch the goals here. Nice bit of passing to set it up. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot outside the box. Two nil, lovely little header. Look at that little beautiful little chip. There we go. That was Cavadonna's um, little chip, uh, little assist. And nice finish at the end. So we won't bother watching Latvia's goal. Um, Latvia's goal, sorry. Yeah, so we're now playing Gilla in the lead. Gordy's up front. Hopefully he's up for it in this game. Where are we? Where's how are we doing in the league at the moment? We are third still. Um, one point behind Torpedo, and we're eight points behind um, Sam Gorelli, who have a game a hand a game ahead of us as well. So uh, all we can do is just keep winning. The game is to get second place. I feel like third place wouldn't be a disaster, but I don't think fans all board would appreciate it, so it might risk 
might risk losing our job if we do that. I don't really want this save to be finished already. I mean, the only thing I can think of is if I get sacked from Dynamo, it is I just keep going until I get another job with a Georgian first division team and just stay with the Georgian national team for now until I find another job. Not ideal though, because I've become attached to these players now. I don't really want to get sacked. And hopefully that will never happen. So we've got to stay positive. We've got a good chance of getting second, to be honest. We have got games towards the end. The penultimate, get, penultimate game of the season in the league is us versus top league Sangarelli. And then we've also got, after that, we've got Torpedo again. So you never know. Um, if we get to the end of the season where we could potentially win the league if we win both of them last games, then we, we'll be in a strong position. But we've got to get there first, and I don't think that's going to happen. We've got to, we've got to hope that Sam Gareli just goes on a really bad run, which I don't think he will. But yeah, our aim is to get second. Anything else is a bonus. And we are playing Sam Gareli in the cup in the next round. I will play my strongest team for that game. So uh, hopefully we can win the cup. I'm not too bothered though if I don't. I'm not really that bothered, but it'd be nice if we did. It'd be like a nice little bonus to the season. At least we've won some silverware. It might keep me my job as well. From Nusky, beautiful shot. Good save by the goalkeeper there. Greco, cross to Gadetti. Beautiful pass. Go on, Pachulia. Yes, Pachulia finishes it nicely. Um, also, to the Dynamo fans, can you let me know who the best players are at the club in real life as well? Is is Football Manager um, doing the Dynamo squad justice or, or are they being very nice about the players that you have? Are the players better than in real life than they are on FM or worse? That's a good goal. I don't think it'll count though. I think Santos might be offside. No, no, no VAR. I'm not complaining. 2-0. Game set and match. I think it's game over from now from there. We're currently second now. That's good. Six points behind Sangarelli. Yeah, we do need Sangarelli to go on a bad run. Hopefully, if we beat him in the cup, it might end up ruining their morale and they might just go on a bad run towards the end. That'd be good. Imagine that if we end up sneaking the league title the last game of the season against our rivals, Tito. Santis can come off. Baratella can come on. Julia. I just can't take more players off. Oh, no. I thought he was going to take the ball off from there. Good tackle. We don't want them to get back in the game with 10 minutes to go. Give them a chance. Oh, that's not good. Oh, did this allow? No, this allow. That's good. I don't need to panic. Right, I see this game like that. I mean, they've had one shot, one on target. So we've had like 25 shots, 11 on target, 2.59 XG. Yeah, there you go. 2 0 win. We are currently second. They've got a game ahead of us, so right. Who are we playing next? We're we playing. We're we playing Shakura, and then we've got Zambarelli in the. So uh, you know the score. I'll just do this first. I'll be back in a second. Right, we're back, and we're playing Shakura. Um, hopefully we can win this game. See how we get on. Keep closing that gap. Have a look at the league table because see if they played their games that they uh nah still got the game they've got to play. 
Uh, they're still 11 points clear of us. We're two points ahead of Pedo at start of play. Are they playing today? No. Uh, it's just two games playing today. Uh, on that note, we'll just crack on that. Do our bit and see what happens. We are playing in the white shirt and the blue shorts. And we're in the turquoise shirt with the um, black shorts. Another dreary day in Georgia. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but we'll take that goal. Iron Jock across to Alan Enzi. Beautiful goal. 2 0 up after nine minutes play. Couldn't ask for a better start if you tried. Another highlight. Goal kick. Oh, intercepted by Dog. Beautiful over the top cross there. Ah, uh, header not good enough. Not enough precision and power to um, worry the goalkeeper. He has another go at it. Goes to one of our players again. Romanowski loses the ball. Julia picks it up though. Gives it back to Romanowski. You do really should have done better with that. Still 2-0 though. Can't complain too much. Alamensi. Iron Jock. Oh, goalkeeper did well there. Oh, what a pole. Two nil off. Three nil up, sorry, I apologise. Another brain fart by me. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Easy, easy. I think what I'm going to do, everyone, I think, because this is obviously just going to be a steamroll, I'm just going to put commentary only. I think when it gets to 4 nil, it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? So, see, 5 nil. We're 5 nil up. Not even the first half ended yet. We're just absolutely destroying them. 6 nil. Petulia with his hat trick. If only all the other teams in Georgia would crumble like this. 7 nil after 48 minutes play. This is getting like a bloodbath at this point. I feel sorry for the opposition now. Oh, let's see how many more goals. I bet you it'll probably, I bet you we won't get many more goals in the second half. They'll probably tighten their defence a bit. We're doing well considering we've got a 2.97 XG. Seven nil, still. Like I said, I predicted it. Don't think we're going to get another goal. That is funny. Literally, first half seven nil. Ah, uh, they've they've scored the goal. We don't keep the clean sheet. The comebacks on lads. Shakur is going to draw seven seven. You watch. Seven one, and then that. Thing. There you go. Eight one. There we go. We got a goal. I stand corrected. Ayo Bashvili got his second goal of the game. So we had a hat trick for 
uh, Pachulia, two goals for Ayabashi, one goal by Romanowski, I think. That's definitely one way of getting up there. Getting a, at least, it might, you never know, it might come down to goal difference, which we do have a far superior goal difference than Torpedo. We actually have a better goal difference than top of the league at the moment. So, you never know. I do think that Sam, Sam Gorelli will win their game that was coming up and they'll be back to having like 9 or 10 points or whatever it is ahead of us. But like I said, all we can do is win. We are playing Sam Gorelli next game. So what I'm going to do is just holiday it. I'm not going to go off. I'm just going to leave it like this. It won't take long. And then in the port final, I think we beat them. We might have a easy route of getting to... I win the cup then. I think they're the if they're the top team in the league this season and we beat them in the quarter final, then you think it would probably be easier from them. Oh there we go. So eight one win is basically a new Georgian National League record win record win. The previous record was by us six two win uh, earlier on in the season. Then it, we've scored a new high record a new Record high scoring league game as well. Um, so we've broken some records in that last game. All right, just get through these as quickly as possible. I know it's very boring when people have to watch that. Right, so we're now playing Sam Gorelli in the cup. We'll play our strongest team, even though the AI is automatically going to rotate some players by the looks of it, but we'll see. I do like the Sam Gorelli home shirt. I do like a bright coloured shirt, whether it's orange, purple, um, red. I've always liked bright colours like that. I've just um ordered um the like a fake shirt. I've ordered five fake shirts. I've ordered the new Bayern Munich home shirt, which looks amazing. The red one. Um, I've ordered some more now. I can't remember what the other ones are now. I've ordered a PSG shirt. I've ordered two PSG shirts actually. Um, and then I'm trying to think what the other two are. I can't think of the top of here without looking. I'll have a look. I'll let you know before the end of this episode. Actually, I don't. I shouldn't be telling you because I'm going to do a video on it. <laughs> Ignore that. Um, I'll keep it a surprise what the other two are. Tune in to watch my video review video when I do it. I should get them in about 10, 10 days or ten ten to fourteen days, basically. Still got some other fake shirts coming that I ordered uh, about two weeks ago. They're still going to take a while. At the moment, they're only in Hong Kong. They've been gone from China to Hong Kong in the space of 10 days. It's taken ages. I've got a couple of replacement shirts coming from Mystery Shop boxes. I've got another mystery football mystery football shirt that hasn't turned up yet, which is quite concerning. I should have, I should have had it by now. And I have messaged them and they haven't got back to me, so that's annoying. Uh, we lost 1-0. Oh, I forgot to bloody take it off commentary only. Sorry, everyone. Right, okay. Right, let's, we've equalised. Let's uh, go back to that. Let's go back to um, key highlights. It lets me... There we go. Right, this is... We'll watch our goal. We don't need to watch Sam Gorelli's goal. No one cares about them. Iron Jock. Oh, that was a beautiful goal. Beautiful shot by Maratella. Right, so 1-1. One, one, we've got extra time now. That was a quick, This is a quick game, isn't it? Um, right, let's take him off. Take you off. And then we'll take you off. And then what we'll do now is... Because... He is not a left-sided winger. Put him here. Let's hope the tactical change will do us well. 
Aruna, who's it? Asori. Uh, Padanavsi, I hope to not pronounce his name, because it will be too hard. Iron Jock. I think we're just trying to build up the play here, trying to make something happen slowly, patiently. The cross. Uh, should have done better with that. It's been a fairly even game. We have had more shots, but we've only, we've had the same amount of shots on target. So All right, Baratella back heels it to Mepo Chavari. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, everyone. Uh, I won't count this allowed. Unfortunate. Can't take any more players off. This will probably go to penalties. Which I hate. It, the game should never end on penalty shootout. It should just keep going until somebody scores. Players will just have to keep going until they die, basically. They'll just have to die on the pitch. I don't want a penalty shootout. Right, Gordy. They should play a game of crossbar instead. That'd be more fun, wouldn't it? See how many um, shots they can get to hit the crossbar. They've all got a shot each, and they, they've got to do it from outside the box. And whoever gets the most out of the 10 shots wins. That would make it more interesting than a penalty shootout, I'd say. It takes a special bit of skill to actually hit the crossbar. Oh, what are you doing, Got Got Sridzi. Gloria, please come to our rescue. Keep us in this game. No, what are you doing? I've got a feeling he's going to miss this one as well. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I didn't want to win the cup anyway, so it's fine. Well, Sangaretti scores. If we miss this, this is our game over. They've got to miss the next two penalties, and we've got to score the next two penalties to, uh, to get back to... Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think, I think we'll score this one, and then I think they'll score the next one. Yeah. So, if they score this one, it's game over. They've got to miss... We've got to have Loria have the game of his life now. I wish I had Mart Emiliano Martinez in goal now. I feel a lot more confident. Come on, come on, come on. No. That's it. We're out the cup for this year. Right, so we just need to concentrate on getting second place now. The only thing we can do is get a runners up medal. Baratelia turns professional. Oh, he's just signed a new contract, isn't he? He turned professional. Right then. Um, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Bear with us. Right, so this will be the last game of the episode. And what I'm going to do is um, basically... Um, there'll be no video on the Sunday. What I was going to do is do three videos of Dynamo Georgia every week, but I think three is too much, and it's just going to burn you all out watching it as well. It's too much of a commitment, I think. Um, if I've got that wrong, please let me know in the comment section. But as of this week, I will probably have no video uploaded on a Sunday just to give me a day of rest. So it makes it nice and easy, because then that means I've got, I can record two episodes of So Show, You've only two episodes of this save and then two episodes of um, the, the other game that I play, which is TW2020, which is a wrestling simulation game for people who don't know. So we'll uh, call it a day for this game. Um, and then next week, we'll finish the season off, I think. That'd be a good way to do it. So yeah, there we go. Um, see how we get on. Hopefully we can beat uh, Gabra and we can get a nice little lead as second place let's have a look at the league table first so we've got 59 points to feed us two points behind with a game in hand um we're eight points behind sangarelli but they've got a game in hand as well so technically they're 11 points ahead let's be honest um so yeah right 
Let's put that there. Let's see how we get on here. Fidetti. Nice pass by Akasuri. Doll with a beautiful cross. Oh, that deserved a doll, that thing. That was unlucky by Petulia. Been quite, we've had quite you know, a few chances already. Six shots, two on target. They haven't had a shot yet, which is good. We're in the white. We've got a corner now, Romanowski. Beautiful. Gordy with his 16th goal of the season. He's starting to uh, become the main man. I think he's better than Ayobashi, really, to be honest. Ayobashvili. But the assistant manager seems to prefer him. A lot of the games. Good interception there by Cadetti. Oh, that yawn was Baxter. He's just woken up from his nap. Good timing then if I'm finishing up the episode because he'll probably he'll probably want my attention. Oh look at that. Baratello with his fifth goal of the season. Nice debut season for the rookie player. He's uh he's doing well on that right wing. He's not our main oh is it he's knackered though, he needs to come off. Um I haven't got anybody. I'll just let him keep going for now. But yeah, two 0 up at half time is good so far. I do really like the I I I really like the um Dynamo um to the Lissy kits. I'm trying to find I'm trying I'm trying to even find um somebody who can give me like a fake shirt of it, but just does it does it so the team no offense, I'm not I'm not having a go, but outside Georgia the team is quite obscure. So it's very difficult to find that shirt. I I can get the Georgia national team shirt quite easily. And now the Euros are finished, I probably can get a legit one relatively decent price, which I will probably do. Right, penalty to us, Gordy. Because I'd rather, when it comes to the Georgia national team, if it helps the Georgia FA, I'd rather give them the money instead of somebody in China making them. So I don't mind that. Most of the time, I will just prefer to buy a fake shirt these days because it's just too expensive to buy a legit shirt. But if they're on offer, if they're cheap, they're reduced, then I will buy a legit one. Right, Cadetti with the corner. Beautiful header. Right, we're 4-0 off. So what I'm going to do, as what I usually do, if I ever get 4-0 off, I'll just go commentary only. Because there's no drama because there you go, five five nil now. Which is just a dominant victory. Like I said, I think eventually we'll just be very dominant in league and um in Europe will be the real test. So in the future I might just I might just start instantly resulting a lot of the league games after we've built up the dominance for a while. Unless it's like a big game against one of the top teams and I'll play that and then the games that you'll actually see me playing will be the European games. I think that's what I might do. Moving forward, um, Romanowski with a hat trick, um, Gordy with two goals so far. Has he got time for another one? No, 7 2 though is a good result. To end the episode on, yeah, 61 points. So we're six points behind there. So then we've closed the gap a bit now. They've got nine points ahead of us before they have like 12 points. And we're four points ahead of Tito, even though they've got a game in hand, with one point. So we're pretty, not that we've got a guaranteed chance of getting second place, we've got a good chance of getting second place. Right, let's just praise him. Right, let's have a look at the fixtures and see how many games we've got left. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six games left, so that's potential of six times three is 18. So we've got 18 points to win. If we win these next four games in a row, we close the gap a little bit, 
I think Sangarelli will probably still win. But there's still a chance. And if we can get down to like if we've got still got a chance to win the title when we play Zangarelli and then if we basically beat Zangarelli and then Torpedo and we win the title, but we've got to win every game, so it's it's gonna be difficult. We we have done well. I mean we lost to Zangarelli in the cup and then we've lost in the conference. But you look at it domestically, if we just click on here and then if we just get rid of that and then what we do is Georgia National League. Um, we haven't lost a league game since since June. That was against Torpedo, unfortunately. We've lost to Sangarelli and we lost to Torpedo, so that's not good. But if you look at current form, oh no, I didn't want to see that. There we go. If you look at current form, there's always a chance. But we've got to beat these four teams first, and they might end up surprising us, eliminating our chances. But like I said, we're still aiming for second. It still is possible. Um, we've got so when we come back, we've got a European qualifier game for the Georgia national team against Romania and Wales. I've got a feeling that I must have holidayed, and oh no, he is in the team. That's good. He's in the team, so maybe they're automatically going to pick him now. Hopefully, because he's like ridiculously talented, right? So that's that really. But anyway, we'll we'll come back to this next week. If you really are clamouring for an episode on Sunday, if I get a few comments when I upload this on um, Friday, then I will do an episode on the weekend on Sunday for you lot. But only if it's really like if you really really want me to. I'm not. Otherwise, I'll just assume everybody's quite happy with two episodes of the Georgia Save. And that's that, really. I'm going to leave you to it. And I'll be back next week with this save. But um, for anybody that watches all my content, if you do, I absolutely love you. You're the best. But if you do look, if you do watch all my other content, I will have another video tomorrow, which will be um, what day is it today? It'll be it'll be the Georgia save, I think. Again, yeah, no, yeah, Georgia save again. So yeah, so this episode. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to leave you to it, um, and I'll be back next week. All the best.